let's get into these messages scorpios what's up big scorpio welcome back y'all thank you for watching my channel she's got the gift scorpio i'm back with messages for you please take what resonates from these messages scorpios and leave the rest right on where it's at at the end of the day i say don't take it personal because this is a collective it ain't a personal if you are seeking a personal reading you want me to do it feel free to reach out to me my website will be linked down below in the description box scorp also if you guys want to see more content you're always welcome over there on patreon and um also tiktok okay let's jump into your messages big dog scorpio energy spirit angels scorpio sun moon rising venus placements i call upon you for your insight i'll ask that you join me for scorpios protect us spirit angels thank you for using me as a vessel i'm grateful protect our loved ones protect our foundation allow no weapon that's being formed to come against us to ever prosper all black magic, evil entities, spell work being sent our way, negative energy, and monitoring spirits are to be blocked immediately and returned to where it came from. Let's jump into it. Scorpios. What's up, Scorpio? Yeah, birthday coming up. It's almost Scorpio season. Don't nobody do it better. A message is for Scorpios. Ten of Wands energy. Overcoming. Um, somebody too can have you trapped. Damn, ten of swords, ten ten. Yeah, overcoming something. Cycles are closing, new ones are opening here. Uh, yeah, Scorpio, you finna realize too that somebody got you under something. Like there's a trap here. Somebody doesn't want you to be free. They don't. They sending all type of shit to you. Um, go watch the collective read. Show me more spirit angels for Scorpio. Ace of Wands, but you, there's a breakthrough here. There's a new beginning. Justice, yeah, at the bottom of the day. That um, somebody here could be shape shifting too. Um, be careful if you don't know what shape shifting is. Like somebody literally can turn into a pet to monitor you. Okay, so be careful with that, Scorpios. What was that that I seen? Page of Swords here, yeah. Justice. Somebody got their eye on you, Scorpio. They do. It could be a Taurus, Virgo here, or a Capricorn. This light on this Ten of Wands for Scorpios. Yeah, I feel like somebody really don't want you to be free. Somebody really don't want you to be free. Somebody wants you to get caught up in all type of booby traps and like they setting all type of shit up for you so that you won't be free. Scorpio, pay attention. Show me more on this Ten of Wands for Scorpios. The moon here it could be a Pisces doing this to you, but it's hidden. The one who's causing all of these burdens here or these blockages for you, Scorpio, is that they're hidden. This could be a Pisces. This could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius that's secretly doing this shit behind closed doors. It could be a, a Aquarius too. Heavy Pisces energy that's sending you these um, burdens though, these blockages. Show me more. Queen of Pentacles. Someone's wife could be doing this. Someone's child's mother. There's like some trash. I just heard treasure, but like some money too hidden in a lockbox. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants you to just work hard. Somebody wants you to work overtime. But it ain't supposed to be that hard for you. I don't feel like it's designed that way. I feel like you're a free spirit. I feel like um, you're able to make things happen. You're able to make the universe shake if you really wanted it to here. But there's somebody behind closed doors that's doing this. That's setting up these blockages here and these hindering. That someone is hindering you, Scorpio. Show me more on the moon. It could be it's, it, it's simply the devil. The devil simply here could be setting up all of these blockages and shit for you. Just period. That's why you got to train your way of thinking. That's why you can't think of all the negative shit. There's something, things that you can not control, but they're allowed to control your mind. That's the devil. Don't do it. Think think about other shit. As soon as you start thinking negative, no, uh, that ain't me. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Show me more on the moon. I feel like God telling you, daughter, don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. Five of swords. The moon is clarified with the five of swords. You, baby. 
Show me more. This could be a hating ass air sign, jealous ass air sign. King of Cups energy, the Page of Wands. Somebody here is doing this because somebody wants to like reach out to you or because somebody here has feelings for you. This could be a Cancer. Give me one on this Page of Wands. Also, too, somebody is jealous that you're able here to turn nothing into something with this page of wands energy because you got the ace of wands down here. So something that you're coming up with, something that you're working on is sticking, it's blooming, it's starting to catch attention and somebody is mad about that. But I feel like this could be a masculine, though. And they also mad because a masculine is interested into you if this is a feminine. Show me more on the page of wands. The devil. Wow. Capricorn energy. The devil. The devil. The devil. Rebuke it. You got to catch. Rewind it back and start it all over. Rebuke Satan. He's setting up a trap. Somebody is setting up a trap. 55 here is showing up. Five of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. Somebody here too. That's like... um. There's like a bond, a spell here, a bondage to you from somebody. Like you bonded yourself to somebody. You need to get out of something. You need to release something. You need to let something go. Something is toxic. Something is tied up. Well, you know what you've done. I keep hearing that. The world. Okay, so all of this shit is coming to an end. You blocking it out. You moving away from this. Inside on this King of Cups. What does this King of Cups have to do with this? Pisces, masculine here showing up. Capricorn here showing up. Taurus is here. Four of Wands. This person here is your twin flame. Show me more. Ace of Swords, some sort of like breakthrough or communication here is coming through. Ooh, we two of cups. Yeah, there's a there's a union here coming together. Whoever is causing these blockages though, it's coming to an end. They saying it's stopping. This person here is broke too. They don't they don't they homeless now. This could be an earth sign that was blocking you. So the devil is using one of these people to get to you. So pay attention. Pay attention to, to the, like, you know, the encounters that you have. They just said over the next nine days. Hi, priestess. Listen to your intuition, okay? Heavy on the Pisces energy. Scorpio, somebody ain't no good. Somebody ain't no good. Um, they want you to know whoever sending sending you these blockages though they're doing they're throwing rocks at you and hiding your hand hiding their hands. Uh, this person here is going through an unwanted change or all of these five uh, five showing up here with whoever this person is because I'm asking who's the who is this who's uncovered here who's behind this veil. It could be a Pisces. That's who's sending you these blockages or sending this person that has feelings for you blockages. But at the end of the day, they can't stop it. Because the Page of Wands was clarified here with the King of Cups here, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Two of Cups. There's a block. There's a there's a blockage being lifted. There's a breakthrough here. There's communication. There's a twin flame coming. It's like a union here is coming together. Inside on the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Ace of Cups, yeah, over it. Some sort of like bruise here though, like your heart could be bruised from this love or what happened, what transpired between this little love connection you have going on. But, uh, Ace of Speaks of New, you got the Ace of Swords out here, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, so there's a do-over with these tens out here too. Shit is closing. The world out here, all of that is coming to an end. It's time for you to be happy now. It's time for you to be successful. It's time for you. Anything you touch this is going to turn to gold. One more. 
Show me more on this Ten of Swords energy. Judgment. Yeah, I'm telling you. That shit don't last long. Ten of Cups, Two of Swords. You also unaware too, Scorpio, that you're about to get something that you've always wanted. Somebody is mad about this. One more. Eight of Wands. Yeah, forward movement. Fast too. Something is about to take off with this love. Show me a little bit more with this Ace of Cups. This new lover or whoever this new person is. This could be a Libra. This could be a Pisces. Another water sign. The Hierophant. Mm -hmm. Taurus energy. This could be a Taurus you're going to take off with. King of, Queen of Swords here showing up. Female energy. Go watch the collective read. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking to a female Scorpio. Or you could be you could be this masculine Scorpio. This King of Cups down here. I'm, yeah, I could be talking to a masculine Scorpio. You got females out here like that's planting shit to like stop you. Planning to get in your way or cause drama. There's something about what you're speaking, what you're saying, or what you're going to say. Show me more on this. Libra energy is here. Feminine Libra could be significant. King of Pentacles here showing up. Queen of Pentacles out here. Who got this in their reading? Capricorn? The bottom of the deck here, the Five of Wands. Mm. What, what does this Queen of Swords have to do with this? Or is this Scorpio energy? Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. She heartbroken because she's single. Somebody is heartbroken here over a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn wants to be with you or is coming towards you. All right, this is who you're going to end up being with, but you got a hurt, bitter bitch here in the background. My goodness. The magician that's doing spell work on you. The hermit here showing up. This could be a Virgo. Somebody is like trying to silence you, though. Somebody here is like trying to keep you hid. Like that's that's the blockage. The devil is you literally using a female. If I'm talking to a female artist, masculine. If I'm talking to a masculine, to hinder you in some sort of way. The hermit came back out. Virgo energy. So this Queen of Swords is a Virgo. But her, she's she's mad because something has ended. Doesn't have to be a Virgo. This could be a Libra. Whoever this is is butthurt because something ended. Okay? Show me more on this Ace of Wands for Scorpios. Six of Cups. Make a new memory. New memories. Also, somebody here is like having nostalgia about the last time you guys were intimate with each other. Somebody from your past. Side note, okay? Five of Cups. Water energy here. Feel some type of way about this. Somebody is mad about this new beginning here. Yeah, somebody's hurt over this new beginning. Seven of Wands here. And the Sun. Somebody is mad because you're figuring it out and you're finding a way out of the problem or you you got a solution here. Somebody is mad because you're fighting back and you simply fighting back, meaning not going up against this person, meaning shutting shit out and moving on to somebody better that fits you or moving on to somebody that wants to have you around. You get what I'm saying? That's a sign of fighting back. It doesn't always have to be a physical fight. You just setting healthy boundaries, you know what I'm saying? And saying enough is enough and then closing shit out and letting it go. Somebody is mad over that. Or whoever this person is, somebody is just mad, Scorpio. They just mad, just period. It's no other way around it. Somebody is mad. Two of Wands because you were picked. The Fool card. Mm -hmm. Somebody mad because somebody is leaping towards you. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. All of these Aces out here. Somebody is mad because somebody is moving towards you, baby boy. 
baby girl. All right, this new beginning that you're about to get somebody mad. What's the outcome for Scorpios? Somebody was like doing a little jelly shit here and like you close something out. You going somewhere else. Like you don't you don't want to be a you don't want to be in a part of the competition. Look, right? The so-called competition that they got going on. Or you don't want to be a part of this game here that somebody got going on. And now that you shut the shit down, or now that you was the, the common denominator of this whole little ring shit that somebody had going on, somebody mad about that. Cause it ain't fun no more, Scorpio. It ain't fun when Scorpio got the gun. It ain't. Somebody butt hurt. They bitter. The outcome for Scorpio, Ten of Pentacles. Advice for Scorpio, I'm telling you. Advice for Scorpio, you still end up getting shit, what you need and more. Um, your advice here is the temperance here showing up. Allow your angels to guide you. Allow your angels here to align you with whoever this is that you need to be aligned with. And this is a twin flame connection. I'm going to say it one more time for the one more time. This is a twin flame connection. Your advice here is temperance. Go with the flow. The potential outcome here is the Ten of Pentacles. Do I need to say more? Go with the flow. Allow the universe to work its magic for you. That's it. Stay clear like I've been telling y'all for the past couple of weeks in these readings. Stay clear of the bullshit. Stay clear of your mind being thinking negative. Let that negative shit go out with the old and in with the new because all new is coming in for you, period. And people don't like it. I love you, Scorpios. I'm leaving it there, baby. I hope this helped you. You're going to have something to celebrate. You're going to look back and realize you are so happy and realize that you made the right decision here to walk away from something that was not emotionally fulfilling to you in the, in the end. And when it all falls down to it, somebody it wasn't it wasn't even emotionally fulfilling. What were you holding on to? Somebody don't know how to love you anyway. They don't know how to love you. It is what it is. Move on. I love you, Scorps. I hope this helped you. If it did, please don't forget to hit the like, the comment, and subscribe button. Until next time, y'all. Peace.